Well, hey there, guys. It's John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center with another science creation activity that you can do at home. On this day in history, back over 200 years ago in the year 1804, Lewis and Clark began their expedition to the Pacific Coast. They left uh, St. Louis, Missouri on this day, May 14, 1804. And back in the 1800s, they did not have iPhones with compasses on them telling them where to go. And it was kind of their job to make the map to figure out what the, the new Louisiana Territory looked like. So they needed to find their way around. To do that, they probably used a primitive compass. And I say primitive, but compasses have been around since like 400 BC. The Chinese culture actually developed them using metal spoons that would align themselves to the magnetic field of the Earth. If you were able to take the world and just slice it in half, you can see inside there's a molten core. This molten core actually creates a magnetic field, kind of acting like a bar magnet that weakly attracts magnet, magnetic uh, objects on the surface. Here I have a much more powerful magnet that will obviously pick up these metal paper clips pretty easily because the metal in them, like iron, nickel, or cobalt, is magnetic. A normal magnet works because it aligns itself along those magnetic field lines running north and south. You can make a magnet right at home or a magnetic compass just using a paper clip. This one, it doesn't have like the plastic coating, which is perfect. You'll need a magnet, you'll need a dish of water. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paper clip and you're gonna unbend it, make it as straight in a line as possible. It takes a little while, but I've actually made one here that works pretty well. It's, it's mostly, mostly straight. And now we're going to magnetize it. Grab your magnet and just run the paper clip along it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, 11. It takes about 50 strokes to get a good magnetic uh, pull on this paper clip. But if you have a stronger magnet, like this neodymium magnet, it could take as few as like 10 to 15. Another thing that you're gonna need is an empty soda bottle cap. This one, you're gonna float on the surface of your water. It's buoyant enough that it's gonna kinda act like a little boat that you can take your paper clip and gently rest it on top. Now you'll notice it starts to swing a little bit back and forth. And when it comes to a stop, oh, it's still going, still go, whoop, don't run to the side there. It's going to stop pretty much pointing up. According to my compass, north is in that direction. So we've made a pretty accurate magnetic compass using stuff that you can do at home. And you can try this at home and become like natural wilderness explorers so you can maybe go hiking across country and find the Pacific Ocean again. But hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like it. Try this out at home. Also, uh, subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video update and check the description below where we're gonna have all kinds of science standards that relate to orienting and uh, compasses. But uh, also, there will also be information down there on how you guys at home can help support us and keep the science alive. But right now, I'm off to explore and find the Pacific route. Bye guys! No, that's not right. No, no it's pointing east. Oh, you're being attracted to the neodymium magnet, that's what it is. <laughs> There we go.